Solar City, power forever. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dylan Sullivan, and I'm extremely excited to get the chance to talk to you guys about something that I'm extremely passionate about, and I hope that I can inspire a few of you guys to make a difference as well. All right, so to start with, how do we know climate change is even happening? The greenhouse gas effect is enough evidence by itself. Keep in mind, this is a fundamental law of physics, not an opinion. Normally, only three out of every 10,000 molecules in our air consist of CO2, and we're 59 degrees Fahrenheit warmer because of these greenhouse gases. By raising the concentration of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, we're ultimately increasing our temperature as well. Earth's climate record has also been preserved in glaciers, coral reefs, and tree rings which all provide us with an abundance of data showing that our global temperature is actually stable over long periods of time. 2015 was the hottest year historically and this graph speaks for itself. It's no coincidence that the industrial revolution started in the 18th century. Keep in mind it takes time for us to see the effects of our CO2 emissions and what their effects are on the earth's climate. Since the industrial revolution in 1880 our planet's temperature has already risen 1.4 degrees. So according to the Copenhagen Accord, another two degrees is the maximum amount that our planet can sustain before ecosystem collapse. What will the reality of a future look like if we do surpass this two degree threshold? Some of these things are already happening in places closest to the equator and include, but are not limited to, drought, heat waves, flooding, sea level rise, more violent and frequently occurring storms, thriving insect populations, lower crop yields, or increased usage of pesticides and GMO, people acting out of desperation, crime rate increase. I mean, this is what naturally happens to human behavior when people have to compete for limited resources. Right now, we're losing species a thousand times faster than the normal rate of extinction. That's the worst rate of extinction in 65 million years since the dinosaurs got rocked by an asteroid. I know for a fact that this isn't the type of planet that I want to bring my children into. So what can we do to help mitigate and prevent some of this damage? If we want to seriously start cutting down on our greenhouse gas emissions, the first thing we need to do is transform the way that we get our energy. We absolutely need to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. If you had the choice to choose between dirty fossil fuels in one hand, and clean solar energy in the other, but they were the same exact price, which one would you choose? If you chose solar, then I have good news for you. Solar is 30 to 40% cheaper than fossil fuels, and it doesn't cost anything to get started. So this is how you're getting your energy now. You're still getting your energy from the sun, but it's a much more long and drawn out process. This is how you could be getting your energy. Do you see the difference in efficiency? It makes sense why solar costs so much less than fossil fuels. You're getting your energy directly from the source. What is Solar City's vision? Solar City wants to put solar on every home in the US, but a few years ago, the only way to do so was by homeowners spending 20 to 30,000 in order to get a solar system for their home and then waiting 10 years on top of that for a return on investment. Things are different now though. For a limited time with Solar City, if you qualify, it doesn't cost anything in order to get your own custom solar system. For the reason being that, cost was preventing more people from going solar than anything else up until this point. With the new way we're doing things, you don't have to pay a dime in order to go green and you start seeing savings on your first monthly electricity bill with Solar City. It wouldn't cost anything to go solar, seeing as it's all being subsidized by the federal government, state government, the utility companies, and Solar City. So, Ultimately, you are paying for people to go solar whether you take advantage of this opportunity or not. And it doesn't matter how busy you are because our state-of-the-art mounting systems allow us to provide one-day installation. The qualification process. These are a few questions that I want you guys to be asking yourself right now. Are you a homeowner? If you answered yes, then awesome, you're eligible to make the decision. Is your home being heavily shaded? Well. If your home is getting at least three hours of sunlight a day on average, then you're on the right track. What is the age of your roof shingles? Are they under 20? Did you plan on getting a re-roof anytime soon? If your roof is in good shape, then it looks like you're in good shape to go solar. Where do you live? Who is your electricity provider? If you don't have a municipal electricity provider, 
and you have a private company like National Grid, then you're probably eligible for installation free of any upfront cost to you. How long are you staying in your house for? Do you plan on moving in the future? If so, then that's great. Under Solar Cities Agreement, your home is given the right to 25 years of net metering and is easily transferable. 95% of the people who sign up are going to move at some point, which is why we have a whole division of workers that are strictly designated to the resale of the home and transference of the system. This is just one of the perks for joining a $10 billion company that's been in the industry for over a decade. There's a reason why Solar City is the number one residential provider in the nation. I have to say, Elon Musk and his cousins Lyndon and Peter Raff have done a phenomenal job in thinking through the whole process. There's no need to worry, we've got you covered. If you're still unsure if you qualify, have any questions or concerns about climate change or the various programs that Solar City has to offer, please feel free to contact me directly by calling or texting the number at the bottom of your screen. No matter how far away you are, I can use Google Earth to determine whether or not Solar City might be a good fit for you and your family. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm looking forward to working with you guys towards our goal of creating a more sustainable future. Solar City, power forever.